Now it is for real. The tactics and squad strengths have been analysed by committed fans and neutral observers to the nth degree. A confrontation that all football lovers will revel in, knowing that we might be about to witness a simply unmissable occasion. Who will come out on top? It's PSG. They take on Borussia Dortmund. And the action is next on EA TV Live. A big night at a great venue, the Parc des Princes, here in the French capital, Paris. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And we're ready to bring you the second leg of this UEFA Champions League semi-final. It's Paris Saint-Germain against Borussia Dortmund. Well, Derek, Dortmund were the better team in that first leg and deserved to be in front. But this will be a really close game today. The first goal will be all important. And here's how the lineup looks for PSG. Well, they're going to play with two wingers here, but I'm just a little bit worried that the centre forward could become isolated. Therefore, the midfield players need to get forward as much as possible in this 4 3 3 shape. And here's the 11 for Bohusia Dortmund. Emre Jan starts alongside Marcel Zabitzer in central midfield, and Niklas Fulkrug is up front. Well, a swift challenge and a throw-in coming up. An exciting talent who has everything a forward needs to be successful. Stuart, what are you expecting to see from Mbappe? Well, Derek, when he's on form, when he's focused, he's a brilliant runner with the ball. He can take on players. He can go past people with ease. And he's got a great shot on him as well. I'm really looking forward to watching him play today. Really good build-up, but no end product. Manuel Ugarte. Mbappe with it. Well, they keep the ball moving. Well, I think a classic commentator's curse just then. Couldn't make the ideal pass. Hakimi. Now, who can he play it to? Really incisive defending. Physically strong and secure on the ball. Krug. And he was in the right place to intercept. Daniel Malen. Oh, he looks threatening. Well, there was impending... Zabica! And it's in! As they tighten their grip on the tie! Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. Well, he knows his team haven't been good enough in this game, but how does he change it? So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1 0. Marquinhos. Now with Hakimi. Dembele. A very good tackle. And the referee has decided to award the free kick to PSG. Brandt. Madsen. Well, PSG have it back now. Might it be Mbappe? Ball is loose. Not to like about that pass. Oh, that's a really good run. 
And blocking from Zule. And a big moment because the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty coming up. And the penalty is converted. A goal is his. And now he can exhale. Well, here we can see it again. Keeper's gone the wrong way. And it makes a fairly easy finish in the end. That's how to take a spot kick. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Hun Krug, Sancho, and he successfully got past him, Sancho, now with Jan, can he put it away, and the keeper's technical skills there for all to see, well from that close in, that's a really good save, such good reflexes, Delivering it. Not really the ideal clearance. And he's tipped it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. And there's the delivery. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Now counter-attacking possibilities. In with a chance. And a goal it is. And what a significant one. They're locked together again. You just can't divide these two teams. An extra time, a real possibility. Well, here it is again. And it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions but he's still got so much work to do. Just look at the spread he shows to hold off the defender and still get his shot away. That's a really good finish. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Jaden Sancho. The ball with Zabitza. There will be one minute added on at the end. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. And it goes! A huge goal in this tie. As it stands, they will be the ones going through. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power. The keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. Well, he has to come up with a game plan. His side is struggling now. And that is that for the first half here in the French capital. to the second half here at the Parc des Princes.
Marquinhos. Pereira. Is it going to be? Still a chance. Well, no damage done. Brandt. Well, this is a great opportunity to extend their lead and just make things a little more comfortable. And over comes the corner. And well, the goalkeeper doing what he's paid to do. It's one corner after another. Well, he read the flight of the ball brilliantly, but just couldn't quite keep it down. Narrowly over the bar. Hakimi. Nuno Mensch. Marcel Zabitza. Madsen. Emre Chan has given it away. Incisive pass from Mbappe. Well, he couldn't keep himself onside. Well, he just delayed the pass, didn't he? That was a great opportunity. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. And nicely over the top. And into the last 30 minutes now. Pereira. Chances on. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Well, it comes to nothing in the end. Now in a more than decent position. Sancho. Marcel Zabitza. And the counter attack is on. Options available. Emre Can. Marlin. That's a nice looking ball. Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? Well, he's gone into the book. Well, he was late and he deserved a booking for that. And players waiting at the far post. Well, I suspected that might be difficult for the keeper, but I was wrong. No foul. Bad challenge. And now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. Hakimi. Well read to win possession back. Brandt. Trying to open up the defence. Could be in here. And foiled only by the crossbar. 
Sancho. Oh, great defending. And PSG using width to good effect. Can he do it? And he's kept it out. Fully stretched. Somehow reaching it. Substitution it is for Dortmund. Dembele tasked with taking the corner. Oh, they drama here! All level again! Incredible scenes! Well, here you can see it again. It's a superb cross, just asking for someone to go and meet it. And it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Can't really say defences are on top. 3 2. PSG on the attack as the minutes tick away. What can they do in the closing phase? Well, clattered away. Asensio. Well, good run and good ball control. Fabian. Now with Hakimi. Great defending. And the referee's verdict is penalty kick. Here we can see it again. Keeper's gone the wrong way, and it makes a fairly easy finish in the end. That's how to take a spot kick. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Schlotterbeck. Rami Ben Sabaini. Return to Hakimi. Shot attempted. Crucial piece of defending. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. Well, for Dortmund, there is quite a lot of running room. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Now they stopped them in their tracks. Oh, what a top-notch pass. And now it is all over. Paris Saint-Germain have made it through to the Champions League final. Well, it was all very tight, but over the two legs, they just had that bit more creativity and made the better chances. They'll certainly be confident going into the next round. Well, you know, I think Kylian Mbappe enjoyed himself. Your verdict on his performance tonight. Well, his movement was brilliant today. Whether he was running in behind or dropping into pockets of space, he caused all sorts of problems. What a good hat-trick that was.